the world had. But yeah, the, the, uh, there has been other like sickness so pandemics. It's just it hasn't been as like big, big as COVID. Nuke, where two towers are seen with an explosion on the right hand side. This illustration is eerie similar to the events of the September attack. And it's what's up, guys? It is your boy Big Ryan 16 back on your video drop. Hope you guys are having a good day, night, afternoon, whenever you guys are watching this video. And today we're gonna react to the card game that predicted the future by Morbid for fun. In 1994, Steve Jobs. Great, so see how this is. This was no ordinary card game because the name of this card game is called Illuminati New World Order. What's unsettling about the NWO? Is the cards themselves feature illustrations of tragic oh. events. Not only is it weird that a card game features such tragedies, but it's the fact that this card game predicted the future. Allegedly, this card game predicted the September attacks seven years before the tragedy. In today's video, we talk about the now game that predicted the future. was it before the Simpsons or was it did they do it? Because I'm pretty sure a Simpsons episode actually also predicted like 9 11. So, was it before the Simpsons or after? The video is way shorter compared to my other ones, and that's because I gotta, I gotta research after this information about the Illuminati card game. There's only so much information that I can talk about, but luckily for you guys, I am covering everything about the card game in today's video. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and a special little that's right, guys. Don't worry, he follows back. Soon, I will be doing some IRL content where I explore some haunted places with my friends, and who knows, I might bring some YouTubers with me. But Ooh. topic. The year was 1994, and Steve Jackson Games, a board and card game company, released its newest card game. However, this was no ordinary game. Instead, it was a bizarre and spine-chilling game that predicted some of the world's most horrific tragedies, like the September attacks and the pandemic. It also predicted historical events such as Trump's election what and the January it predict 6th COVID later on. This card game was called. Like I understand predicting like a like a sickness, but like a worldwide sickness where where everything goes pandemic. How did it? These games were inspired by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson's book, The Illuminatus Trilogy, that was released in 1975. But how is this game played, and how did it predict the future? For starters, players must try to conquer the world by using the powers of the Illuminati they've selected. They can pick one of the following, the Church of Subgenius, Society of Assassins, UFOs, mm. Adepts of Hermes, Servants of Cthulhu, Shangri-La, Network, Bavarian Illuminati, Bermuda Triangle, Gnomes of Zurich, or the Discordian Society. Once they've chosen their Illuminati, the player has- Alright, I won't even respond. cap when I say- I only know half of these shits! <laughs> I only know like half of these shits. Illuminati ...by obtaining or destroying their last organization. Some organizations include the CIA, Men in Black, and yeah, the Boy Scouts. Aside from groups, a player can control people and locations. Individuals like Princess Diana, Ross Perot, and Saddam Hussein, and places such as Canada, Japan, California, and the moon base were all in the game. Uh, uh, now that Canada's in here, concept in an is it gonna also say it kind of predicted the Canadian wildfire fires from last year? Pandemic card as an example. Oh, featured a disturbing picture of the world's grim reality during COVID-19, 26 years before the pandemic even started. Okay, all right, now, now, now I see, now I see how. Hold on, hold on, let's, let's actually go back a little bit. Like just looking at this card right here, you can actually see it. Like you know. You see, like, you know, quarantine, you see a mask. I don't know if that's supposed to be a glove. Then you see, like, different types of medicine, needles, and then the arrow. I'm gonna guess behind this is either, like, the world going into Grim or something like that, or just tombstones or some shit like that. All right, so I see how, I see how it works. It's gonna basically predict shit like this because, mm, this should be interesting. Before the pandemic even started, we see a pile of body bags, a face mask, medical supplies, gloves, and the word quarantine. Many people believe that this card from the card game predicted COVID-19. Now, this could just be a huge coincidence because after all, it's not like COVID-19 was the first ever pandemic that the world had. But yeah, the, the, uh, there has been other like sickness pandemics. It's just, it hasn't been as like big, big as COVID. 
where two towers are seen with an explosion on the right hand side. This illustration is eerie similar to the events of the September attack and it's even more unnerving to oh, see this. Oh no. Tragedy. Additionally, oh no. Department of Defense's headquarters engulfed in flames from the plane that crashed into it during the attack. Interestingly, a card about the fourth plane is missing. United Airlines Flight 93 was the only flight where the passengers fought back against the hijackers and saved countless lives through this heroic act. The plane would have thanked the Lord the capital had it not been for the passengers and crew's intense bravery. Thank the Lord, but field in Stony Creek Township, Pennsylvania, and killed all 44 people on board including the terrorists. It is kind of crazy how the card game depicts illustrations from both of the attacks that occurred that okay, day. Okay, how in the, the war- attack seven years prior to the tragedy is insane, and I don't know how they did it, but it's not like this card game is the only one to predict the tragedy. I yeah, know, okay, that, that and then- media that predicted the September attacks. However, that media never showed illustrations of the Pentagon. So the Illuminati card game did predict- Oh, Fantastic Four? four? Okay. That awful day. May uh, oh, all right, I see now. Rest in peace. Aside from the September attack cards, it is deeply perturbing. Was Simpsons not one of the ones that predicted? I'm pretty sure Simpsons weren't. Uh, unless you just didn't show it. Just copy, right? God forbid that comes to fruition. And if a World War III does happen, I do believe nuclear weapons would be a huge part of it, given how many other countries finally have nukes. Although World War III hasn't happened yet, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. Yeah. Nuclear warfare will take place since it's common sense. Uh, honestly. Not the hardest one. I think it's pretty clear, like, common sense, it's gonna happen anytime. Had a drawing of a blonde man delivering a speech to a crowd of followers, which bore an unsettling resemblance to Donald Trump. It's important oh, that's Donald Trump. Trump. I'm like, who the hell is nobody? Because e either it's supposed to be blonde or black. Likely that anyone who played Illuminati skin World color World at that time would have believed the man depicted was Donald Trump. Not going to lie, I don't see this person in the card as Donald Trump. It does not look like him, in my opinion. But this could just be like the skin color look black, but the hair look blonde. So I'm like, okay, who the hell is that? Like I'm like, this card predicted. Like I'm thinking, okay, is this supposed to be like Martin Luther King or something? Like cards display the BLM movement, 2022 Canadian trucker strikes, gay activists, and political- Okay, that one makes- Two lynched men. One man was hung for using insensitive pronouns and the other for eating the flesh of dead animals. Ooh. I don't know what they were trying to predict because the only thing I found was that a few arrests have happened due to people misgendering others. Yeah, I know being- I understand the, way different the pronouns one, one, but damn, the flesh? The closest similarity that I can find. And for the eating dead animals, I found nothing. It is very important to note that- I mean, it depends. I feel like it depends. Like, like, like it could be like someone's pet animal. Like, someone just needs- and just randomly eat your pet animal or some shit like that is that even a prediction plus this game came out in the 90s so i doubt that they predicted that in 2013 the blm movement would start after all before the 90s they already had a lot of black advocacy movements since the 60s so the card game is simply retelling the past which history does repeat itself a lot so yeah aren't really technically prediction yeah it'd be like that history repeats itself a lot and then is just gonna keep repeating because nothing gets better nothing gets better like seriously nothing gets better company's founder devised the idea for such weird game and unintentionally predicted the future. In an interview, Jackson stated he wanted to make a game satirical and keep its tone tongue-in-cheek rather than serious. He also talked about the substantial research into conspiracy theories and cults he conducted to ensure the game was as unhinged as it could be. Mm -hmm. It's possible to get deadly serious about- Eugene, so, uh, salad, 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 salad. Really want that. Among all the material I'd read, the articles with the really wacky theories, even if they were presented totally seriously, were the most fun to read. Logically speaking, a wacky game should be more fun to play. As much as possible, I wanted to retain the flavor of the conspiracy material I'd been reading. That's why groups like the South American Nazis, the Cattle Mutilators, the Floridators, the Communists, the Oil Companies, and the United Nations are in there. But what confirms Steve Jackson isn't clairvoyant is this quote from Lloyd Blankenship, a former employee at the company. Steve is a huge fan of conspiracy theories. Mm. Not that he believes in them. As far as I could tell in five years of working I'm with get, him. I'm guessing they, they made the cards out of conspiracy theories and then like those theories pretty much like eventually came true. Uh, 
say that a Middle Eastern leader will be killed next year, and you have a decent chance of getting it right. Speaking of Blankenship, his presence at Steve Jackson Games landed the company in hot water. In 1990, the Secret Service raided the business's offices and took numerous hard drives and documents. Some of these items oh, were no. regarding the Illuminati card game, but the agency had no interest in this data. Instead, the government wants to learn more about Blankenship, a hacker known as the Mentor. He worked as a system operator for the Phoenix Project, a bulletin board system for hackers. The hacker shared sensitive stolen files in this system, explaining how the 911 emergency <sighs> response systems functioned. Additionally, Blankenship was the Steve Jackson Games Illuminati bulletin board system operator when asked about the raid. How the hell did they have a? Okay, you know what? Games got raided because they knew I was a system operator there. But the secret services couldn't believe that I wasn't using the SJ Games BBS as a hacker board as well. The secret services assumed they'd swoop in with a weak warrant and find so much incriminating evidence that I'd be forced to accept a plea bargain. Unfortunately for them, I had nothing incriminating at SJ Games. The damaging proof was found at his home rather than at work, where he ran the Illuminati bulletin board free of any suspicious activity. The board was initially used to- Okay, okay that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good at least. I'm like, how the hell? It became a forum for individuals to discuss sci-fi, conspiracies, and other odd subjects. While there are several peculiar circumstances surrounding Steve Jackson games and the Illuminati card game, there's no evidence indicating the company could have accurately predicted future events. But the Despite this, it is still scary to see how precise many guesses Steve Jackson Games made were accurate, and only time will tell whether the ones mm. that haven't happened yet will ultimately come true. Let's okay, we, we gotta I gotta research the rest of these cards. I gotta I gotta see the rest of these cards just to see what the hell I'll admit the, the rest of these are. Because these are like absolutely crazy. The predictions were. But when it comes to the cards about advocating and political this one those aren't it was kind of happening when when like you know the game was coming out same with the black africans one and i don't understand the other two and that is the end of the card game that predicted the future and like i said earlier in this video this video is much shorter than normal because there's not that much information on this topic it is pretty limited and i just told you guys everything that happened with steve jackson games and that's pretty much it nothing more to talk about so the information about this topic is very limited but other than that so i must i must still do research after this video. this this was a good video good video not gonna lie haunted videos coming very soon i got i got got some more of it interested in going to and who knows i might bring your favorite youtuber along but time will tell follow me on instagram and twitter and hey, not gonna hold you more but not gonna hold you are you gonna bring taz video. see you guys Later, but I'm just I'm just saying, not gonna hold you. Oh, uh, Morbid, not gonna hold you. If you bring Tab, I think that would be like a banger collab video. Not gonna lie. There's that was the video. We the video. Okay, not gonna lie. Common Morbid banger. Not gonna lie. I honestly really enjoyed it. So I'm look. I'm look. I'm thinking. Okay, how the cards are gonna predict it? And I'm like, all right. So looking at the images and then thinking of the event. Yeah, it, it was kind of like kind of convenient. Not gonna lie. Like like now I, I really want to see like the rest of the cards because I'm very positive he either only showed like either like one like fourth of it or only like half of it and this is still more to where either the event hasn't happened or it's like an event that isn't like too big to cover so not gonna lie comment morbid banger comment more banger honestly i really enjoyed the video so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to the bell and it's gonna notify when i upload a new video comment what do you guys want to react next there's that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Oops.